Hello and welcome to Hamster on Rails. Let's continue from where we left off last time. Things are getting a bit more complicated. But um, we made it through the uh, forest levels, so um, I'm hoping we'll make it through these levels as well. Oh right, yeah, you needed the metal blade. We saw this, like, um, at the end of our previous episode. So we need to go get this blade from here. And then we need to bring it to this person here. And here is also our exit. So... Do we just... Where are we starting from here? Let's see. Okay, so it's pretty obvious that this needs to go here. And also... Where else? Well, obviously... We need to do this thing here. And... Here as well. of course. Well, we'll see about the buttons later on. We'll plan the route first and then see where we can, like where we've got space for buttons after that. Okay, so over here... Aha, uh -huh, I see. We need to go up here. But we also need to go this way. How does this work? We place this here, and then we need to use a lever first. As we come here, we go up here, and we go get the stuff from up here. And then we come back, and at some point we will use a lever. So this will turn this way and take us to over here. Okay, so there's going to need to be a lever somewhere for that. Then, um, 
obviously we need to have this here. How are things going to work up here? Are we going to need to do the same kind of thing? We've got two levers. We need one there. So that means that we'll need one here. So if we put this this way... Right. So that'll probably have to be like that. So we go get the ore first. And then at some point we use a lever here and then as we come back this way, this will turn and we'll be able to travel back through there. And then over here. Like so. And um, I think it's going to be this way. We'll need to get through the door. And we'll need to get the key. This is where the second one of these is going to be. Oops. Like so. And that there. We'll get the key. No, not the key. The, um, the blade. And then... Go like that. Through here, back this way. These over there, and uh, that, and that. Okay, so I think this is how it's going to go. Now we just need to place the buttons and levers. So, um,. Let me see. We're going this way. We come to this door. The button could be over here. Uh, we also need to place the levers in such a way that we only pass them once. With the buttons, it doesn't really... Let's see... That door also has to be open. So the button to open that is also going to have to be somewhere that we only pass once. So, I think the buttons are going to have to be here. It doesn't matter that we're going to close this door as we pass through here because um, the um, we won't have to go through this door again. So we put this button here and this button here. Let's see if this is going to work. So this will control this door and this will control this door and then the levers, uh, one controls this and one controls this. And I guess the only places we can place them are here. 
and here. So we're going to have to place them in this way. Or... Yeah, this way. And then, um, we only pass through here once. So that'll work. Let's see. This to control this. And then we'll put the other one here. To control this. Right. I think that'll work. Let's see. Good. Got the ore. And button. Open door. Other button. Open that door. Get the key. Close that door, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Earlier we got the sword, <laughs> and that was the key. Why am I always confusing these? going to have to get the treasure from here. Well, I mean, we don't have to, but I want to. And then the keys there and the ores there. And then obviously we come back through this door and go there, right? Yeah. Okay, so how is this going to work then? Uh, so we're going to have to put that there. Like so. And then, um, oh, we're going to have to get the treasure, come back down, and then go through to get the ore and the key. do we do this? Well, I think it's pretty obvious that this needs to be here.
well, obviously, this is going to have to be like this. going to go something like this. And then... We'll need to get the ore. Which way do we go first? Do we come down here and then go like this? the only other way. So it'd have to be something like this. Oops, didn't mean to do that. going to work at all. And then um, we'd go up this way, get the treasure, come down this way and go get the ore and the key and then come back this way. How would we make that work? We'll have to do this thing here and then we'll do the lever thing here where this is this way at but no actually we don't have room for a lever so we can't do that there. Do we have a room? Or we do have room for a lever here, though. So I wonder if maybe we'll um, put this here instead and then a lever that controls that somewhere. And then we'll use this here. I think that's probably the way. Let's just see if um, if this works or if I have to 
make some adjustments somewhere. Here we go this way, and we get the key. And get out of here. There and there. this work we put that there uh oh hmm I'm running out of these uh, turning pieces this is going to have to work in some other way But what way? We're only using one lever as things are right here. And uh, we've got two more. We've got three total. So... We could be using a lever instead of a turning piece or like a we we could plan this some other way. Hmm. several things here that could be done in some other way. Like, um, for example... Instead of uh, going this way, we could use this path here, but how would that work if we did? So if we use this path, then um, we'd have to go this way. And then come back through here. I guess that could work. And in that case, we wouldn't need, oh, we wouldn't need these at all. So we'd go here, get the treasure, come here, get the ore, turn this way, go down here, and then this would have to be like a, a turning piece. We turn here, get that, come this way. But no, 
we'd still have to use all of those those turning pieces that we've got in use. And the whole point was to have to use less of them. So that's not the answer here. probably needs to go like this. There isn't much room for anything else. And this up here probably goes like this too. But um, all the other stuff and this over here probably needs to go like this as well. And and that. The question is just um how do we use these levers in such a way that we make a route that uses less of these turning pieces? I'll have to pause the recording and give this some thought and then resume the recording once I've got some idea of uh, what to do here. So um, I'll be right back. Okay, so it took me a while but I think I figured it out. This is the way that we need this to be and um, we need to have a turning piece here so that um, as we first go this way um, it, um, it, it takes us through the door there and then um, we get the ore and the key and we come this way and uh, somewhere along the way we are going to need to have a lever that turns it like this. So as we come back um, we go into this loop again and then somewhere we pass that same lever again and it turns it like this. And then as we come this way a second time, uh, we go get the treasure. We place a lever here and turn this so that uh, we can get through here. And then this needs to be turned as well so that we can get through here. So it's a bit complicated. And then obviously we're going to need that door to be open as we go through. So um, we'll put this button here and then that'll open the door. And then we need a lever here and that will turn this. We also need a lever um, let's put it here and that will turn this and then the final lever needs to be the one that turns this. Let's put it here And it turns this. 
and now all that's left to do is to see if this works. It's a bit complicated, but I think this is the way... Oh no, that's the wrong way. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I forgot that I showed you how this would turn. There it is. Okay, so that needs to be like that. And now I think it'll work. Door open. And we go through. And we get the ore. Go through there. Get the key. Turn that piece. Go through here again. Turn that piece again. And now we can get the treasure. <laughs> Winky face. Aww. And black and white. And turn that. And also turn that. And we're through. Took me a little bit to figure that one out, but I'm glad I did. A very valuable ruby. You put it in your backpack. But it fell out of your backpack. Aww. Okay. So we need to get this ruby to uh to where are you to this person here and that's our starting point so We probably go get the ruby first and then come up here and get the key and I'll see if I can figure this out next time. My uh, brain needs a little bit of a break after the treasure in the previous level. So I'm ending this episode here, thank you so much for watching and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like, I would really love that. And also please remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you again next time.